In this video I'm doing an updated guide on Chun-Li combos and this time around I'm gonna include meterless combos as well as a safe jump tutorial and a max damage combo at the end. So first off let's get over the easy stuff. So she has basic light confirms which is like triple jab into light spinning bird kick or jab jab into heavy DP. There we go, edit it properly. And stuff like this into medium lightning legs. This is basic stuff and literally every other character can do this as well so those are her light combos then we have her only useful medium combo which is medium medium into medium spinning bird kick and it's standing medium into crouching medium and you gotta practice the timing a bit to get this off properly but this is honestly her only useful medium combo she also has one from her standing medium kick into stance light kick into medium spinning bird kick but her standing medium kick whiffs on crouchers. And now her heavy buttons, meterless, uh, back heavy punch into stance light kick into medium spinning bird kick. You can do the same from her crouching heavy punch. And from her standing heavy kick, you can do stance medium kick into medium spinning bird kick. And from her crouching heavy punch and standing heavy kick, you can do stance heavy kick into double stomp and uh, target combo with heavy punch or you can do double stomp into heavy legs you can practice the timing to get all hits in then you have heavy hazanshu which honestly is a big risk into crouching medium punch into medium spinning bird kick and you have her cross up normal which is down forward uh, heavy kick into basically her medium combo this is also a really good meterless combo for her and that is it basically for meterless combos now for the metered combos which i have shown you in the last video is basically her standing or forward or back medium punch or crouching medium kick a really good combo from that is this one but you can check that other video for reference for that one this time around, I'm going to show you other combos, which use about 2, 3, or 4 drive gauges and lead to a lot more damage. One of those is something like this. That version you can only do when they're close to the corner because the final tension kicks miss mid-screen and I can show you right away. But in that case, you can replace the final part with a different ender. These are really good heavy combos. You can basically do them from any stance cancel. And if you get inspired and find different routes, you can, routes, you can um, show me in the comment section down below. I would like to check them out. But these are some of the routes that I found. I think those are really cool for three bars. And another thing that I wanted to say about uh, her medium buttons, which technically don't really need lead to much stuff, except if you do a raw drive rush. So you can do stuff like this. This is all combos basically without counter hit as well. So drive rush, crouching medium kick into stand slide kick into medium spinning bird kick. You can do the same from her forward or back medium punch and literally from every single poke that she has standing heavy punch into that stuff you can do the same for this you can do go for even crazier damage by adding a ex spinning bird kick at the end stuff like that it does very good damage by the way as you can see and if you get inspired, as I say, you can find better combos, maybe, but these are really good, actually. And I think that's it for the combos. Now I can show you the safe jump that I have talked about. Now, the safe jump is very simple to do. You basically need to get the stance heavy kick to land. And you need to do this properly, which is all hits need to connect. And... Right after you jump, that is basically your safe jump. And if you want to be certain that's a safe jump, you have to get... Oh, let me do it properly. 
So as you see, if you get anywhere between minus three to minus five frames, it's actually a real save jump and you actually did it properly. And you can also train this by setting up the dummy to do all the rising uppercut on wake up and uh, crouching light punch, basically mashing or throw and all of the all of them at the same time if you want to test it. But just for this tutorial, I'm going to just turn on rising uppercut. And if I do it properly, he should whiff it, but I didn't do it properly. Keep in mind, you have to practice this or you're going to fail this. And you can loop it over and over again in the corner, as you see. And it's actually really useful. And basically, if you do it properly, when everything is turned on, you should counter hit their throw attempts and mash attempts. And rising uppercut is going to be blocked. Keep in mind when you're doing this, though. Once you are landing or doing the rejump, you always do the same thing, by the way. You do... Uh, while you're jumping down, you do heavy kick. And when you land, you do crouching heavy punch. But hold down back. In case he DPs, you're going to block the DP. And in case uh, he gets hit, you're basically going to get uh, the loop again. And you can do it over and over again but you need to practice it because it's not really that easy to execute consistently and you need to get all of the punches in basically the way to get all punches in is you have to slightly delay as i said after the first stomp but you gotta feel it out the timing and once they start respecting and blocking your save jump you can also go for a fake uh, safe jump you basically just stop and throw them like you do not do the heavy button you basically just do empty jump and throw or empty jump low you can do that stuff as well and that'll be basically it so let me do it once more properly and recap so you do launch into you need to get all four hits which for some reason while i'm recording this i'm struggling and you can repeat it. This is basically it. And this is actually real. The reason this doesn't work on mid screen is because if they roll back or do back arise, whatever you call it, they're going to be out of range of your safe jump and you're going to land in front of them, not able to hit them. But it's actually really useful in the corner and uh, if the enemy is mindlessly mashing, you're going to kill them for that. And now the only thing that's left is the full damage combo. And I'm going to show you that one. And there we go. We have the full damage combo, which does 6,796 damage. This is the highest damage that I could find. And I was inspired by a dude that actually posted a better version of my combo. And then I figured out a better version as well. If you find a better one, please uh, post that shit. I want to see it because I play this character and I like this game a lot. And if you like this content, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.